Hello, I'm Peter Carter. I'm making this video for the Climate Emergency Institute, February 2024. The issue of the video is the acceleration of global warming. And here I provide the overwhelming evidence that global warming is accelerating and evidence that it is increasing at an exponential rate and showing the acceleration of global warming, but global warming in any case as a linear record is extremely rapid. In the past century, warming is roughly 10 times faster than the average rate of ice age recovery warming. And that comes from NASA actually many years ago. Now this video is actually an update of a YouTube a video that I posted in 2018. And that YouTube explained that global warming at that time was accelerating and also explained by the science that it had to be accelerating. And the same thing applies today. So uh, this is an update of the proofs of the acceleration of global warming. So I'm starting off simply now with published statements that say that global warming is accelerating. So this is from the IPC6 assessment, and the quote here is warming accelerated after the 1970s. So there's 1900 to 1980, and there's 1981 to 2020, a very dramatic increase. It shows this decadal average temperature increase here, which definitely demonstrates that global warming is accelerating. Here you'll see that this says that each of the last four decades has in turn been warmer than any decade that preceded it since 1850. That's acceleration of global warming. This is recent. This is a fine work, very important, which was put out on the 12th of January 2024 by Makiko Sato, who is with the NASA GISS. And here she says that global warming is accelerating. And she breaks it down by the rate of increase of several periods along the way, from 1950 up to 2023. Her statement is that 2023 was Earth's hottest year on record by a large margin, about 0 0.16 degrees C warmer than 2016 or 2020. Uh, this is a newsletter put out by James Hansen on the 12th of January 2024, just recently, entitled Global Warming Acceleration, Causes and Consequences. Here he says the proximate cause of the acceleration is increase of Earth's energy imbalance, which is equivalent to a atmospheric CO2 increase of more than 100 parts per million which is huge because uh, we're at 422 parts per million right now. This is a projection of the uh, global temperature uh, using the NASA GIS data. This is a bit of a complex paper, but it's a really fine, important paper. And uh, the title is Robust Acceleration of Earth System Heating and System Components Over the Past Decade. So the paper points out there that the global average temperature and the ocean, the land, the cryosphere, snow and ice parts of the planet, and the atmosphere have all exhibited an accelerated pace of increase. This is a big important paper published in June 2023 by Piers Forster and a lot of colleagues entitled Indicators of Global Climate Change 2022 Annual Update. This is a quote then from that paper. Over the 2013 to 2022 period, human-induced warming has been increasing at an unprecedented rate of over 0.2 degrees C per decade. This high rate of warming is caused by a combination of greenhouse gas emissions being at an all-time high over the last decade as well as reductions in the strength of aerosol cooling. Aerosol cooling comes from uh, air pollution emissions from uh, burning fossil fuels. This is this paper's record of uh, global average temperature. This is from the New York Times, 31st of January 2024. 
for. This shows acceleration of global warming, and uh, they have this very, very um, well done, nice record of global temperature increase up to 2023. And there you can see acceleration, its rate of increase has increased over a recent period of time. And the text here says the rate of warming in the past 15 years has been 40% higher than warming since the 1970s, definitely accelerating global warming. This is the UN post of the 10th of March 2020, stating the flagship UN study shows accelerating climate change on land, sea, and in the atmosphere. This was put out by the WMO also. It's a United in Science publication. That's a WMO and several other uh, climate and environmental organizations. And this is their report 2021, in which it stated, Climate Change and Impacts Accelerate. So that was the title of this report. This is a report published on the 5th of December 2023, entitled, The Global Climate 2011 to 2020, a decade of acceleration. The WMO says the rate of climate change surged alarmingly between 2011 and 2020, which was the warmest decade on record. Continued rising concentrations of greenhouse gases fueled record land and ocean temperatures and turbocharged a dramatic acceleration in ice melt and sea level rise. So here you see decadal increases. Uh, this graph here is from 1900 to 2022. And this one here is from 1960 to 2022. So these are the decadal increases. And I've added the plots there. It's very obvious that there is acceleration over both of these time periods. This is a really good paper published 2022. It's entitled Multi-Decadal Oscillations of Surface Temperature and Impact on Temperature Increases. But I just want to bring your attention to this graph, this record of the global temperature increase data sets going from 1880 up to 2020. The, the blue curve there is an exponential trend in global temperature increase. It's clearly accelerating very fast. Here's a highly expert presentation of the fact that global warming is accelerating and it is exponential. The title of this research paper is Exponential Life-Threatening Rise in Global Temperature, and it's by Marcus Knoll, May of 2023. This also is a presentation and calculation of an exponential increase of global warming. It grew exponentially at these rates by Alan Urban on the 22nd of July, 2023. This is the final one of these exponential graphs uh, that I have. This shows an accelerating exponential increase in global surface heating, 1880. This runs to 2019. And it's from that group called United Behind Science. This is from Real Climate, that's a group of climate experts, and the title of this post is, Is the Apparent Recent Acceleration in Temperature Significant? This quote says it easily, so there's the accelerating record, it easily confirms that acceleration is statistically significant, and they've estimated the rate of acceleration here. Here's a recent newsletter from James Hansen. This is November of 2023. And the quote here is, a staggering acceleration of global warming is underway, driven by a huge planetary energy imbalance. So this is showing a planetary energy imbalance. Here's the one of this year, 2023, compared to 2015 and 1997. This is also from November of 2023. It's entitled, how we know that global warming is accelerating and at the goal of the Paris Agreement is dead. I want to uh, point out a large number of climate experts who um, collaborated with James Hansen to put this very important uh, newsletter out. There's the graph that I've already shown you with the projection of the in big increase in acceleration to come. This is the Earth energy imbalance 
and this is ocean heat content very clearly accelerating. The quotes here are that the delayed response of climate makes human-made climate change grave threat, especially for young people. So at any time, there is more warming and climate change in the pipe than is manifested at that particular time. Quote again, the proximate cause of ongoing global warming is Earth's energy imbalance. As long as that imbalance is positive, and it continues, that more energy coming in and going out, Earth will continue to get hotter. The accelerating global warming will continue to accelerate. The projection here is the warming by 2030 will be about 1.71 degrees C. A global warming of 2 degrees C will be reached by the late 2030s. That is within only about 15 years. We're looking at, uh, crucially, most important science here because it's now a matter of our very survival. So this is more on that uh, you've just seen, and this paper points out that there is dramatic acceleration of ocean heat, and this is right up to the recent present time. It states that ocean heat uptake has accelerated dramatically since the 1990s, nearly doubling during 2010 and 2020 relative to 1990 to 2000. And the paper is called Recent Acceleration in Global Heat Content. I'm finishing off this video with atmospheric CO2, atmospheric carbon dioxide concentration, as by far the greatest contribution to Global heating comes from atmospheric CO2. If atmospheric CO2 is accelerating, global warming would have to accelerate. This is from the UK Met Office, and it shows that atmospheric CO2 is accelerating. There is the atmospheric CO2 concentration, as you can see. Right from 1958, it's accelerating all the time, right up to the present time. So the Met Office here says the buildup of CO2 in the air has been accelerating. Right now, December 2023, it was 422.58 ppm parts per million, and that now is just over a 50% increase above pre-industrial. So we have determined that global warming is most certainly accelerating. The scientific sources that actually state accelerating are very many, and so the evidence is overwhelming. The largest and main cause for this will be the accelerating atmospheric CO2 concentration. This is the last slide that I have to leave you with. It shows atmospheric CO2 concentration and global temperature change over the past 2,000 years, which I've updated to 2023 and very clearly shows abrupt accelerating increase in atmospheric CO2 is driving abrupt acceleration of global warming. Atmospheric CO2 has now reached 422 parts per million. Global temperature increase is 1.46 degrees C. Obviously, a continued acceleration of atmospheric CO2 will continue to drive increasing acceleration of global temperature increase global warming. Thank you for listening.